Back with the second video you guys are probably seeing this on christmas eve so again merry christmas to you guys tomorrow um happy new year to you if i don't get something out to you before then but um this video is about marcus, marcus peters you live by marcus peters you die by marcus peters you get good you get bad and um for the most part he was matched over obj and i think i got a play in here with him versus landry so let's just get right into it and um see you know what marcus peters did versus the Browns again we won the game secured home field advantage throughout the playoffs um, got a home game to close out the season with Pittsburgh I don't remember if his name was on that list of guys not playing or not so far but um Peters has done a great job even though he has some some issues but for the most part Peters has been a great pickup you know I appreciate what he's done for the ball club kind of secure that back that back end especially with when him when he came in, then Jimmy Smith came back. That that helped us out a whole lot, a whole lot. Sorry about that. But um, let's dive right into it. Marcus Peters, week sixteen versus the Browns. First play, let's let it run. Let's see where is Peters? Where is Peters? He's here. Peters is right there. Right there. I'm going to let it play through. I think this is versus Landry, versus Landry. And you get some good and bad, you know, with Peters. And keep in mind, before I say this, before I go through all this, and I'm going to let you know, I think Odell is the top three or maybe four receiver in the league. Despite what he did with Cleveland and, you know, you got Michael Thomas and all this. And speaking of Michael Thomas, I think LBJ, not LBJ, <laughs> that's LeBron James, Odell Beckham, can be just as good as Michael. Uh, separation. Odell can do everything Michael Thomas can do, but Odell can beat you over the top. Michael Thomas can't beat you over the top. The key thing Michael Thomas has that Odell Beckham does not, is stability at the quarterback position and a good quarterback. Michael Thomas probably has one of the top. Drew Brees probably going to be in that top 100 list Friday. Probably. And and, and Odell has nowhere, nobody, not even close to that. But physicality and, and skill set, I think Odell is just as good, if not better, than Michael. Nah, off my soapbox. So, Peter's got his hands full. That's basically what I'm trying to get to. Pete just got his hands full. Even with Landry. Landry pretty good because he got somebody on the other side. So this is a simple, uh, whoever the receiver is, I think it's Odell or, or Landry, one of the two. Going to run a left, get an inside leverage. And this man to man. Pete is in good position right here in phase. But he breaks down and kind of gets off balance a little bit and gets swam. And once he gets swam, he, you know, the receiver created all this room by running that route inside first. Now he has all this room to catch the ball, which leaves Baker all of this room for error. And they got it. That's a good play. They got it. You know, it's a it's a chess it's a chess game. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Now Peters is here. I think this is the bogus um, holding or passing something they called on on this bogus play. I think this is the one. But like I said, you live by and you die by. No, this is a little curl route. I'm sorry, this is the wrong one. It's a little curl route. Man, man coverage again. Odell Kump takes off. And <laughs> it's crazy because I did this thing called Sweet Feet. Uh, and Odell was one of the guys I did. When Odell stops, watch how many more steps Peters takes. So that's one, two, three to come back. Now, good thing about it is he closed and prevented a big game. Prevented a big game, but still, you get your good and your bad with Peters. You get your good and your bad. This is not necessarily bad. This is just a good route. Not necessarily bad. Just a good route. Catch stopped on the dime. It's, it's tough to defend that. Tough to defend that. Again, chess match. You win some, you lose some. And these are in no particular order. I'm just putting them out there. We'll get to the, uh, so for the most part, these are going to be bad, I think. Then we'll get to the good later. 
the goal line situation. This cat's were one of the better guys around the line of scrimmage. Let me let it play through first before I start talking about it. And this is a garbage time touchdown. The game was the game was over. It's a garbage time touchdown. But let's just look at Peters and what he does to try to defend it. So he's taking away the slant because I think he's a little bit inside. So he know unless he just give him a hell of a five move to get inside, it's gonna fade. Bagged off, bagged off. He's waiting for him to take off and run straight over there, but he didn't. With him pausing and hesitating right here, Peter's got to kind of figure out where he's going, then got to react. Now, that little pause got him enough space because Peter's kept bagging up. But that pause right there, Peter's kept bagging up. That gave him there enough space. And Baker just happened to throw the ball where nobody can get it. This is, and it's hard to defend this. It's really hard to defend this. Really hard to defend this. But, again, again, these have been three bad plays. I'm not saying Peter's play bad. I'm not saying that. Let's move on to the next one. This is Peter's at the bottom right here. Now, again, you, so you live by Peter's, you die by Peter's. Great coverage right here. This is to me. This is great coverage. What happens? They try to set a pick. What Peters is smart enough to do is put, you know, get physical with Odell to avoid running into Jimmy Smith or Jimmy Smith. He pushes up because Odell's trying to pick him, and he pushes him to try to try to so he won't, you know, get picked and let this dude have free reign to the end zone. Well, what happened is the crappy riff called that is holding. Which I don't see it. I didn't see it during the game. I don't see it on here. Ball's not in the air. He's just trying to get in phase. In which he's in phase. They avoid they avoid each other right there. He does a, uh, I think this is Jimmy Jimmy Smith does a good job of recognizing that it is a pick and avoiding. And Marcus helps to avoid by pushing Odell in another half yard. So to me, even though we got a and it negated the interception. But to me, this was a great defensive play by a great defensive player. He recognized what was coming when he saw that. Helped uh, Smith not get picked. And they called a ticky tack. Hold on. Who threw that flag? Somebody way back in the end zone. I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to comment. But move on to the next play. Now, again, you, you live by Peters, you die by Peters. But this time, we bought the live. Because this is one of the better plays I've seen in a long time by a guy. This is excellent ball skills. Let me run, let it run through. They're at the top of the screen. Let me start it back over. Sorry. Peters and Beckham is, are right here. They're right here. Pass breakup. Pass breakup. Now, go back and talk about it. What's going to happen is, uh, not Lamar, <laughs> Odell's going to give him a little stutter step and then just explode past him. That stutter kind of freezes freezes Peters a little bit, and Odell is able to get on top of him. But the good thing about it is Peters just turns and runs. He don't look try to find the ball. He just turns. I got to catch up. I got to get in phase. I got to get in phase. Got to get in phase. And so when he does catch up, because the ball is not a perfect ball, when Odell eyes buck, normally that's when you know the ball's coming. So as a DB, if you you get beat and you run and run and run it, and you see the receiver's eyes get big, you know the ball is coming, and that's when you can turn and look for it. And that's what he does. When he turns and look for it, he sees it and knocks it out of his hand at the last second, which made a was a great hell of a was a hell of a defensive play. Just knock it out at the last second. See if I can bag it up just a little bit. There's, here's the stutter. Now he's gonna run right past him. And you know, playing receiver, if I'm if I'm even, I'm leaving. And he just he's starting to leave Peters. But Peters just running, not looking for the ball, not looking for the ball, not looking for the ball. Now as the ball comes and Odell eyes get bigger, tries to have late hands, Peters come with the late hands right there. At this point right here, I don't know if you can see it, but his hand is up right now trying to about to rake the ball. And as he rakes, he actually touches the ball. 
And if you watch the game, you, you notice that he touched it as it was about to touch Odell's hands, which made it a great play, a great play. And, again, hey, <laughs> you live by Marcus Peters. Sometimes you die by Marcus Peters. But Peters has been playing great football since he came to Baltimore. I think it was one business decision he made where he didn't tackle somebody that I may complain about. But for the most part, this dude, man, lights out. And um, Marcus Peters, I appreciate you. So this is week um, 16, episode 2 of uh, Ravens Roundup. Um, Marcus Peters, you got two defensive um, episodes this week. Two defensive episodes this week. We all know Lamar should be the MVP. Uh, by week, not by week, by week in the playoffs. Got the Steelers coming up Sunday at the bank. Let's close the season out right with our, uh, with our, not all of our backups, but with a good majority of our backups. And um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Merry Christmas. With the, with the